Hello, Internet. It's me, Holly. How are you guys doing today? I am awesome. I just got off work and it's the weekend. So I made the swatches for these lipsticks. I made the videos for that um, a little bit ago yesterday. So now I want to make the video where I go over the review on these L'Oreal lip paints. I am trying to be quiet because it is very early in the morning and my husband is asleep. I've had this makeup on for almost 12 hours so I apologize if I look like a hot mess. I'm also trying some new lighting today. Uh, let me know what you think of this new lighting. I'm gonna have to look at it on the uh, computer and see what it looks like. Um, just kind of dabbling with some changes and all that. I apologize for not getting out videos quick enough, still on the night shift schedule. Yada yada yada. The usual apologies. Insert them here. I think they these were a January launch for L'Oreal. Um, a few of you still showed interest in me doing swatches, so there will be video swatches of all of these colors here. I have six colors. I think there were 16 colors in total or something, so I don't have them all, but I have quite a good bit of them here. So, um, yeah, these were L'Oreal. Like I said, they were a January launch. I believe these were about $8.99 at the drugstore. You guys know I got them from Walgreens. Yeah, let's uh, get into these colors. Okay, so, sorry, I wrote down notes. Um, with these two because I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget anything um, Yeah, so the very first one I want to talk about is this 314 spicy Blush now this one is definitely the one I've worn the most and it is definitely the most natural looking of all the colors that I got I'm fairly certain it is the most natural one out of the entire collection um, so yeah, basically um, this one is very wearable. It's a very natural color Very looks like your lips not quite sure if there's something there kind of color I really enjoy this one. It's a pinky nudie shade, which are the nudes that I tend to go for So yeah, this one's very very wearable probably the most wearable one of the ones I got and probably the most wearable out of the collection so yeah the next one I want to talk about is Sultry Sangria. This is 326. Now this one is very like dark berry kind of color. You gotta apply with caution because this one can be very splotchy as is a lot of the other shades that I have in this collection. A lot of the darker ones, which is most all of them, um, can be quite splotchy. So. The second one, or third one, I want to talk about is Lilac Lust. This is 300. This is very My Little Pony-esque. This would have gone very nice with my lavender hair back in October. So, yeah, um, this one is not splotchy. This one does apply very nice, so I like that one. We also have three... Oh, no, wrong one. 302 Violet Twist. So this one is um, definitely more purple than the Sultry Sangria, but they are not too far off. Another one that can be very splotchy if not applied perfectly. Yes, uh, another apply with caution kind of thing. And the next one is 304 Bewitching Bordeaux. I think that is called. This is very blackened purple. This is like your vampy, your goth kind of shade. Uh, splotchy as fuck. Okay? If you apply too little, it's splotchy. If you apply a lot, it's splotchy. It's hard to get this one to not be splotchy. Um, I applied these without a lip liner. I think a clear lip liner maybe would have helped them not be so runny and splotchy. 
but that was my mistake. And the very last one that I want to talk about is 308 Navy Spy. Uh, it, this one is splotchy too. Maybe not as splotchy as the black and purple. I like the blue one. It's kind of got like a blue gray. It's like a blue gray, dark blue gray. Um, but yeah, it's, it's splotchy as well, unfortunately. So those are the swatches and a little bit about the colors. As much as it sounds like I'm disappointed with these, I'm not. The really cool thing about these is that when you wear them, they go on like a gloss and as they wipe off your lips uh, from wear, they leave a nice stain underneath. But really, I mean, probably the purple and the nude are the ones I, I've worn a decent amount, and they do, they leave this nice, I, I've done this one too, the um, sultry uh, sangria. So they go on, and even if they're a little splotchy or not splotchy, or however they go on, all that gloss, when it wipes off, it leaves this really beautiful stain underneath, which I really love. I mean, some of them you do have to apply with a little more caution, but overall, especially the lighter shades, I definitely think these are fun to wear. They come in pretty fun shades, and like I said, even if they're a little splotchy at first application, by the time that top layer wipes off, you're left with a really nice stain underneath kind of thing. I actually like these a whole bunch, so yeah. But like I said, um, this isn't even all the collection. They have like, I think 12 to 16 shades, and I only have six. So there's definitely a wide color range in this collection. I know I saw some orange shades, and they had uh, more reds, and they had some other fun shades as well. So I definitely like the color range in this collection, and like I said, you can't go wrong with a nice stain after it wears down because then it's like it's still there you know it's there for longer and you know us girls that aren't sitting sitting doing nothing all day kind of need something that's gonna last so I really liked that about it and I am loving the nude shade like nobody's business so and the gloss I'm not normally a gloss girl but like I said it wears down but the gloss isn't like really sticky or irritating either they are lip paint so they are a little heavier than a gloss but it's not irritating to me at all and a lot of glosses are so that is a testament to how good it is you know but yeah you guys should definitely go out and try these if you haven't already if you have, let me know in the comments which ones you've tried, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, if you tried other shades that I didn't that you liked, let me know in the comments. I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, P.S. I guess I should have probably have shown you the applicators because applicators. Just like a little flock tip, so... So that's that. All right, I think I feel confident enough to leave you guys here. You guys know the drill. Also, let me know how you like my new lighting, if it's good, if it's not good. I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen it on the computer yet, so let me know. But yeah, I promise, let's get to the drill. Like, subscribe, share, invite your friends. Follow me over on Instagram, trying to get to 200 subscribers, and we're going to do a giveaway. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good night. Bye.